Share valuation problem three, calculating the value of a share using the dividend growth model. Hollemach shares just paid a dividend of $4 this year. Analysts expect that the dividends will grow at a rate of 2.5% into perpetuity. If the required return is 12%, what is the fair price of this share? Here we're going to be using the dividend growth model. The equation for this is P0 equals D1 over R minus G. I always recommend we keep in mind the subscripts, in this case P0 and D1, because we'll need it actually for this question. And it's also good to keep this in mind when you have non-constant growth for the initial period. We'll start by labeling, labeling the information we have before we jump into using the equation. As a reminder, we have the equation here on the right. So we start off with $4. It's, the company just paid a dividend of $4. And because it just paid, that would be a dividend, first of all. But it's not the D1, which represents the dividend in the next period. So this is actually D0 equals $4. Now the dividends will be growing at a rate of 2.5% into perpetuity. So that of course is the growth, G, 2.5%. And we have finally the required return is 12%. And because that's a required return, that would be the R in this equation. So we have D0, we have G, we have R. As you can see, we can almost calculate P0 now, but we're missing out one thing, and that is that the fact that we need D1. So we can calculate D1 because the dividends are growing at a constant rate. So D1 will be D0, but growing by 2.5%. So we just calculate it by saying D1 is D0 times 1 plus G, 1 plus 2.5%. So that would be $4.10. Now we have all the information we need. So with D1 is 4.1, G is 2.5%, and R is 12%, we calculate the price as 4.1 divided by 12 minus 2.5%, and that's going to be 4.1 over 0 0.095, or 9.5%. So our answer is 43.16, and therefore the price is $43.16. That's all and thanks for your attention. Hope it helped.